Yo, YouTube, what's going on, guys? Uh, a content review for the Jackie Robinson day. And uh, yeah, so a couple things I want to talk about before we get into the video. One, I'm really sweaty. I just did cardio and I rushed back here to get this recorded and out as fast as possible before I finish my workout. I got my fan blowing on me real loud here. So if it's loud, I'm sorry. I'm sitting on a towel so I don't get my chair sweaty. I'm trying to, I'm just being honest here. It's just what's happening. So Jackie Robinson day. 93 overall Jackie Robinson. Did you guys see this car right here? Very solid for the time. Uh, literally all day to stream on stream today. I was speculating what we, get, what we were going to get today. And I said, at least got to be a 93 baseline. Every single best card in a program drop has to be at least the same overall or one point higher than what TA is. It's a great floor to set. Now this card, honestly, I think he's going to be super underrated, especially versus lefties. The clutch is good. The bunt's incredible. Defense is nice. Doesn't have the usual Jackie Robinson short, second left, first base, third base, whatever the hell. But he plays short and second base, and he's an elite second baseman, I think, with those numbers. And he'll honestly be pretty good at shortstop, too, at parallel to gold. Got a pretty good uh, card on him here. And uh, he's got great quirks, dead red and breaking ball hitter. I'm going to give him a shot. I love Jackie Robinson. I'm looking for a second baseman, and I found mine right here. So we have him on the squad. But to get him, you got to go through this Jackie Robinson Day program. 4,200 XP at five stars, which is great. You get that for just finishing the, the one moment, which is getting Jackie on base one time. Very nice. You get a pack. You get Buck O'Neill, who is an incredible 90 overall. Uh, it's got to be for the position because this card's nuts. 92 and 60 versus righties, 174 versus lefties with 80 vision. Bunt ratings through the roof. Clutch is good. Defense is diamond. He plays left and right as well and really runs well too. Honestly, a very good card. Next up, Hilton Smith, who isn't awful on paper. Uh, and the pitch break on the curveball is nice, but everything else is a little meh. He gets kind of crushed, but the numbers aren't terrible. And he could hit a little bit too, but he's more like a little novelty. That's really kind of it. Hank Thompson, who is a 92, and it must be a position thing because his stats aren't incredible. But the fact he plays all these positions is really, they're really, it's really nice. I wish he played first. I don't really know how he doesn't. Uh, primary right field. Can, a good arm, good arm, really good defender, runs well, very good card. Honestly, a BR Demon, and I notice he's got quirks now, which is nice. Um, BR Demon for sure, someone to look forward to. A Barrier Breakers pack, which is nice to see in this program. And Jackie Robinson is obviously at the end. Now, if you did storylines like your boy, you'd have no problem getting a free 10-star head start on this because uh, you get a nice little bonus for doing that. There's a Jackie Robinson Day Conquest with some packs, a headliner, another pack, more packs, a millionaire pack in here, five show packs. Very cool. Looks really easy, too. Dodgers three times, Kansas City, I guess, for the Monarchs, and the Yankees twice. Most of the territory to start it with, too. So this looks like it's pretty, it's pretty easy. Not bad at all. So we'll go back to the program. And that's really it today. Uh, uh, I like this. I think this is another step forward. It's baby steps. This is a baby step forward. Obviously, Jackie Robinson Day program. This is well built. This is well built, well thought out. And I'm excited for it. We're going to hop into some into the moment and do a little bit of uh, probably start the conquest a little bit and while we talk and uh, hang out and do that, do that thing. And we'll get this cooking. 35 stars for the conquest. Um, missions are nice. 42 total bases, 42 strikeouts, five hits with primary shortstops, five times on base with primary first baseman. Um, these are all online missions as far as regular the missions. 4,200 PXP with any player. So it's really just a lot of, there's offline and then there's online. Beautiful balance. Let's do the moment. I really apologize, guys, if the mic is uh, getting hit by the wind here, but your boy is uh, hot. It's 80 degrees out right now, which is beautiful, and I just did treadmill inside at the gym, and I'm going to finish my workout. Um, I doubled up. Yes well, yesterday, last night, late, did cardio on the bike that I have that I did the sponsor, Your Soul Fitness. Shout out to you guys. And then uh, just did the treadmill this afternoon. It's a little bit of a compound. I don't know which Jackie this is. This is uh, it's not even the same Jackie, which feels weird. I mean, that just feels weird. I'd rather have the other Jackie, a 70 power, uh, or 80 power. It hit bombs with that Jackie. I think Jackie, yeah, the 60 power looks a little meh, right? A little meh. First righties, but with dead red and breaking ball hitter boosting velo, plus exit velos being up generally this year and being able to hit the ball further, I'm about it. As long as you can hit well with him, you can square the ball up. That's kind of how it seems for me, right? Perfect, so we'll leave no matter who you're using for the most part, as long as the launch angle is there. Uh, so there's that. So we got Buck O'Neill, and we got a pack. And uh, did we get Billy Williams? Oh my god. 700 more XP we get Billy Williams. Chase pack. Mmm, that would have been chills. So now at this point, I think we're going to hop into the conquest, and I'm going to put in... Is there, there are missions for the players, too? Anyone. Primary first baseman. I mean, there's really no reason to not throw Buck O'Neill onto the team. 
Kuna's batting back to back. And uh, we'll hop into a conquest, a, a game or two. Maybe just one game. Just talk about it to show what's up. And uh, see how we feel about the content. This is a weird place to start, and it kind of stresses me out. I'm going to go hidden reward, stubs. That's one thing I'd like to see more of. I'd like to see them hand out packs more. I feel like that'd be cool. Let me beat some cheeks on veteran real quick. Ain't nothing but a chicken wing. Let's get uh, Corbin in there. He's quick pitcher. So again, going back to the baby steps thing with the content. So I think that TA2's drop amongst all the things was a, a step in the right direction. It was a, a, a normal W. Nothing, uh, uppercase W, just a W. I think the monthly awards are still really holding them back. I think that once they drop a few lightnings and they get like to the nucleus of first monthly awards, they need to just make some key changes starting with the next month. They need to alter it. It's just not worth the time, man. The cards are bad and it's just really disjointed as an, as an overall drop. Ball one, no that definitely hurts um, when you see the monthly awards because usually that was something that used to be so. Uh, it used to be so good. It was like peak content. It was the best the game had to offer monthly. And then it just kind of fell so far because the game. I think what happened with monthly awards was that it tried to be. No. They had a collection problem overall in the game. And then because of that being too strong, they had to nerf content in other areas. This is all just me guessing. And where did it get nerfed? Well, it got nerfed in monthly awards, right? Because you can't have collections being too good, TA collections, like last year, being too good, and monthly awards being good. So they made all the cards that led up to the monthly award lightning card filler. And they made the lightning card not as good as collection cards. So it had to be a step down. And on top of that, because collections were all too much and too good, they had to make ranked and BR cards still kind of okay even though they were a little bit worse they had to make lightning cards kind of a little bit below world series cards and flawless cards in a way too that they kind of dug themselves a deep hole here right when it's just and it comes down to when you just kind of slap you're stacking it stacking it stacking it you have a hole you plug it you and then it, with, you put some tape over it and then that gets messed up so you put more tape and more tape and more tape one and one this is what ends up happening and if they're at this position they're at this position now where monthly awards is in a weird spot where they're trying to make it not too op but also released in a timely fashion um so that's why that's still missing but it's nice to see something like the jackie robinson program come out with it feels like they have some feel like, they know they built it well. It has an overall progression. Even the, the 90 overall, Buck O'Neill is good. There's a semblance of cohesion numerically where, like, you get a 90, and then you get a 91, and then you get a 92, and then you get a 93. I'll, and I'm not saying that necessarily means that all those cards are better than others. I think Buck O'Neill is better uh, probably as an individual card than probably Hank Thompson and definitely Hilton Smith. So it has nothing to do with overalls, but optics matter right we talk about if, if you want to go with the notion that casuals dominate this game and it's all about whatever they think right well casuals people who don't play too often or look too deep into content are gonna look at the cards and go well these overalls are less than what we get in ta why would i get this this is a waste that's just how it is without even thinking about how good the card is so that's why it's important optics aren't everything but they're important that being said i think they, they it looks like they nailed this one it's free there's a conquest that goes with it there's a multiplayer section there's a moment that won't overstay its welcome, and there's missions that you get just for playing with players. 4200 PXP seems like it's a lot, um, but if you play a few games, you'll tally that up, right? Couple online, couple event games. Um, might take you a bit to get there, but... 42 is a good amount, but I feel like they really just stuck with a 42 on that. <laughs> I can't wait to see someone in the comments. They gate kept this behind storylines. Let me, uh, let me just bring something up real quick, and I don't want uh, to piss anybody off, but I also don't really care that much. The most annoying trend lately, especially in this community, has been the word gatekeep, gatekept, whatever you want to say. Like, it is so improperly used, it is unbelievable. I saw someone say they're gatekeeping cards behind ranked. I'm like, you mean rewards? What? You have to have, like... You have to have an incentive system, right, where you grind... You get higher ranks, and higher ranks get you better things than the lower ranks. That's how that works. It's not gatekeeping. It's a constant misnomer. Oh, Jesus Christ. Carved on veteran. I'm dookie. I'm, like, malnourished. I have a protein cookie that I'm waiting to demolish after this, uh, this little game here. Not helping the noodle bat allegations here, Buck, but you're on base. That's all that matters. I don't know why I'm beating the absolute piss out of these guys. It's just conquest. Although, I need PXP. It's a weird middle ground, right? You want to find... You want to, like, kind of... Breeze through the conquest as fast as possible, but you need PXP. Not really the place to grind it here. 
you want to get through conquest asap you can get the pxp at a way faster rate in events even if you have half the success i just made that up that could be completely wrong but i i, I just could be i could be lying but i'll just play this one game you guys don't need to see me go through the whole conquest i just want to talk to you i want to gauge your opinions on this uh, there's a five dollar pack i think it's i don't know where it is i couldn't find it. it's a jackie robinson day pack it's probably in the xbox store and the playstation store and uh it's a five dollar pack and i think all the proceeds i have to really double check that make sure jojo put the graphic up on the screen for them i have to double check but i think all the proceeds from that pack go to the jackie robinson foundation so even though i'm no money spent i will be buying that pack it only gets you some cosmetics and like five thousand stubs um so oh. whatever i'm doing it more just to donate to the foundation and uh, I think that's a W move as always. I know they did that in 21. That every I think 21 was a dollar of every copy sold of MLB The Show 21 went to the Jackie Robinson Day Foundation. So, or Jackie Robinson, not, not Jackie Robinson Day Foundation, Jackie oh, Robinson Foundation. It's Jackie Robinson Day, Three. But, which is pretty cool. So uh, let me know what you guys think. I think it's today's a dub. Uh, it's a small dub again, steps in the right direction. Things to do. Again, I talked about this today on stream. So if you guys don't know, I stream on Twitch um, every day for the most part. Maybe not Sundays, but pretty much every day. And one thing I brought up today was that I'm interested in seeing how content goes starting Friday with monthly awards because TA was lightning. No pun intended this time around. I'm already almost done with it, and I haven't even really tried to do it. Other than the first day where it came out, I did a little bit of TA stuff, but it is very passive, which is like you just get a lot of progress for playing the game. So um, I'm curious to see how they fill in the time there. I'm just making anything at this point. Very curious to see how they fill out the time there, and because uh, they, they've had some issues with downtime. I think they threw a lot at us on that Friday with TA and ranked and events and BR without really gauging the estimated time it takes to completion. That's one of the things you have to do as a content manager for a game or sort of like a um, yeah content planner is like, how long is this going to take most players? What is the average time for the majority on an estimated basis? And then you work from there. Spanked. That's kind of how that works. And um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't want too much downtime there. Uh, and that, it all stems from the fact that I don't think that their ranked mode has too much replayability and events is just kind of like a demo. BR is a little bit different because you can earn stubs, but even then it's like hit or miss. Um, I will say I like that the ranked rewards are a legit, like they're legit this time around. DeGrom is going to be the best pitcher in the game. Probably. Definitely, I think. And Mike Cameron's the best center fielder in the game on paper once you get him. So that's what I'm talking about. Like these rewards should immediately make your team better. Like they should be, it should be hard to not put that guy on your team. Too many times it's been like, I get the World Series award to sell it as fast as possible. That's not ideal. Okay. Contacted her as a little bit of a poison. Then got Aaron Judge is running with a mini, a mini refrigerator on his back. I need primary first baseman. Is it? I think it's on base, not total bases. This card has been a pleasure to use. Taylor Trammell. Little Jacoby Ellsbury type beat, who I miss in the game, man. MLB 20 prestige Jacoby Ellsbury. If you know, you know. Miss that boy big time, man. He was so good. But yeah, so a couple questions just to round it up. I've already talked about these, but I'll ask them again. How do you feel about today's content? How do you feel about the new season in general? What are you playing? Ranked BR. Vince, how are you guys enjoying it? Um, I like co-op a lot. I think co-op has been some of the most fun content I've been making on stream lately. Me and my boy Dalt. Check him out on Twitch if you haven't already. Uh, but I will say that... Uh, this is overstaying. It's welcome. I will say that I wish they ironed out some of the server problems, man. We tried to play Hall of Fame against guys who were like, I don't know, in Bosnia or something like that. Zimbabwe with the internet. And it was just um, unplayable. And uh, yeah. Which are also weird yeah. bugs. Who, my boy Dalt got kicked out of the game. And then the they quit my opponents, and he still got points for a dub. Not complaining, just odd. Although someone did tell me, I didn't verify this, but it seemed it kind of worked a little bit, that oh. you can get TA progress in co-op, but only through innings pitched missions. A little odd. I love you. You're getting, he's, he's done that terrible reaction animation like five times in center field. But holy hell, has he made that play for me. Like, that's the third time I've seen him dive for a ball and make Whoa, it. That's actually man. crazy. That card is so fun. Diving straight on in this game is a bit scary. Because you never know if they're going to dive straight on or dive, like, a little bit disjointed. And it's going to end up at the wall. I knew who was running there. And I knew Tremel could get up and get to the ball. So I'm not too worried about it. And noodles don't really matter if you hit the cut. Noodle arms. Like, he has kind of a noodle arm. But if you... 
Why do I keep letting up a third decker? I keep letting up bombs. 441. But yeah, this channel kind of... Ochev2 over here, guys. Y'all making me happy, man. It gives me an avenue to make more real-time content, discuss things that happen as they happen, and kind of have a little more of a one-on-one, -on -one, and not also have to sacrifice my dinner time because, or time with Vic or, you know, whatever, with family, because content comes out at 3, and if I want to record a ranked video and try and get a full debut and not worry about quits and all this stuff, that takes hours. And then JoJo has to edit it and put it together and all that stuff. Now I can kind of like put together something that's fun and easily right digestible there. for there you guys. Go. And like, it's like more real time. And it allows me to have a little bit more of um, an avenue on the main, you know, not main, but like Ochev main, I guess. We don't, Ochev channel, the regular one. The one. It gives Got me it. more of an avenue over there to produce higher quality, longer content, which is nice. Like if I miss an upload over there, like for a day because we're working oh, on something one. big or something better, it, it, it's just not that big of a deal. YouTube content is something interesting, right? You want to find a nice balance between quality and quantity. And it's hard, man. People, it, it's, it's, it's hard to come up with ideas. 23 forced me to get real creative hey. because they just stopped with content. Hey. 22 had content. It was just frustrating gameplay. One but ball. this is, 23 gave me a whole new way to look at gaming, uh, just in general. But I think we found a nice balance over here. Also, another question for you guys. Who's a pitcher that y'all are using right now hey. that you like? A couple of new pipeline guys are solid. Right. The guy, Mick Abel on the, on the Phillies, I used him. He's pretty solid. I like him, too. He's not, he's not bad. I want to try Painter. Got to get event wins. But that's it, guys. That's, some, that's my thoughts on today's content. I hope you like it. Recap. Do the Jackie Robinson Day program. It's live. It's passive. Do your storylines. Don't treat it like homework, guys. Storylines is really interesting, and I love it. As a history nerd and a baseball super fan, it was perfect balance for me. I love you, man. Love you guys. Appreciate all the support over on this channel, and I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.